welcome to the channel now today we're going to take a look at sets coming in april 2023 and there's quite a few so we're going to get straight into this but first off massive thank you to everyone who subscribed we're over 750 now and this channel has grown awesomely i i love it and i love getting all the comments back especially you playmobile guys i've seen a couple of you who keep commenting i've watched some of your stop motion stuff as well it's wicked keep going right april what's coming in april first off let's talk brickheads we've got three new brickheads coming all minecraft base there's llama zombie and alex let's take a quick look at those so let's have a little look here are the brickheads let's say we've got llama we've got alex and we've got zombie and i'm only going to pick one of these to have a look at them now he looks pretty damn awesome some nice little detailing there with the minecraft plates all together nice little brick head and that's the same same comment for all four of these really sorry all three of these they they look good they're 9.99 they're a good price but yeah that's that's the brick heads next up is marvel we've got four sets coming for marvel let's take a look at those now right and so guardians we have four new sets first the cheapest at 8.99 is the guardians of the galaxy headquarters and this is the only set currently i believe you can get groot in and it still comes with star lord with his freaky moustache <laughs> Um, and there's lots of stickers in this pack, as you can see. <laughs> Two, I hate stickers. But altogether, I think the set looks looks okay for a, less than a ten pounds. There we go, little girl playing with it. <laughs> but yeah, let me know what do you think to this one. Okay, so next up is Baby Rocket Ship. And this is quite cool with some play features looking at it. 330 pieces and not massive. That's probably a nice little size set for the money. Um, let's take a closer look. And there we go. So we get this is the only set we get Rocket in. Again, same minifigure outfit that we're going to see in the Guardian ship soon. Cool little control panel in there. Looks like a little seat. It looks it looks quite cool obviously we've got to wait for the film to know exactly where this ship comes into play but i quite like it stud shooters and the minifigure looks quite awesome little legs no bendy legs now we have bendy legs it really annoys me when we don't get bendy legs in a set because i want more bendy legs to do stop motion with but that's just me uh, what do you think of this one let me know the new guardian ship now this set is obviously the big one for the film this is 90 pounds 89.99 it's got some cool colors in it it looks quite awesome it's got a separate breakaway ship let's have a closer look so it comes on a stand which is quite cool which i'm hoping it has some whoosh ability but we'll have to see on that one it comes with adam so it comes so this one comes with star lord drax nebula mantis and adam warlock and this again these are the only sets where you can get most of these figures star lord you can also get in the 899 box no gamora even though we have seen her in the adverts so that brings up more questions to what's going to happen in the film there you go you can see how the breakaway ships work here i assume it might be two of those looking at this quite a cool set mini figures are a bit disappointing um they've all got exactly the same outfit and i'm assuming that's because in the film they're going to have a guardian's uniform Yes, don't know. It'd be nice to have some differences between them. The faces are quite cool though. I'm hoping they might be double sided. And Adam Warlock, that looks awesome. The gold, I'm hoping it is quite shiny. You can never tell from these renders. But there we go. That's going to be the new Guardian ship. That's the big one. Now there's one more Marvel set coming out in April. So the final set for Marvel is Star Lord's helmet. And this again released on 1st of April. Now, straight off the bat. I'm going to moan about the fact there's no hair. It looks a bit strange. It's I get it's a helmet, it's a face mask, whatever. It's, it doesn't look quite right about the hair piece. I don't know why. But my main issue is 602 pieces at 69.99. Now, is this just a new price for helmets we're going to see? Cody and Rex and Leia Bush just came out and they are only 59.99. So this is a £10 increase already. And... The helmets have already gone up £10 since a couple of years ago. Now, I'm assuming if we get any more Star Wars helmets, they might be the same price. And I'm not happy about this because that's expensive for 602 pieces. I mean, we just had Rocket Ship at 29 for 300 pieces. We're talking double the piece count, but over double the price. No, 
not happy with that. But the helmet looks okay. I don't think it's amazing. I probably won't be building this one. And unless there's huge demand for it, which I can't see there is. This is the fourth set for Marvel. And this is it, what's coming out in April. They look wicked. I can't wait to see a new Guardians film. It's going to tempt me probably to buy one or two of them. We'll see. See where the money can go. Right, thirdly is Disney. Now, obviously, it's the 100 years. There is CMF series coming out, but that's not till May. But we've still got three sets coming, one Duplo and two Lego. And they are looking awesome. Let's take a look. So, Disney, we have got some really cool sets coming. I think I mentioned already the minifigures, they are coming in May and they look wicked. I'm going to do a separate video on those. Jupiter Castle, I've got a slight interest in this for my daughters. It's quite expensive for what it is. I'm guessing that's the Disney thing, but it looks quite cool. It's, you get a couple of figures. We're not going to dwell on this one. Celebration Train. This I do have an interest in. You get six minifigures in here. Obviously, two of them are Minnie and Mickey Mouse, which you get everywhere. Just, I think the Minnie Mouse I have seen before, I think I've even built her before, maybe just with a different colour bow. But Pan and Tinkerbell, they look wicked. That's, so if you want to buy the Disney collectible minifigures, these are then going to be additional to that. So that's quite cool. It's quite cheeky, but quite cool as well. And the train is, although it's simple and it's a four plus set, I'm definitely myself interested for my daughters for this one. And there's a Moana figure. We haven't had many Disney princesses in actual Lego form, so uh, outside of the collectible minifigures. So this is quite cool. I quite want her <laughs> because the friends dolls just don't quite do it for me or my daughters. So definitely, I think this set is quite cool. I love the Woody. I hope we get more along all these Disney themes, minifigure wise. The set itself, let's take a look. Like I say, quite a cool little train. Nice box, obviously multiple minifigures. Some cool little like turns and a slide, hidden gems. And there's, it's quite nice that there's five different builds in this, especially when you consider this is a four plus set. Um, you can get them to build the train. You can get them to build everything separately, which if you've got kids, you'll know that is brilliant because they don't have concentration necessary to build a whole train and there's lots of accessories again my girls love accessories and there we go just some simple standard pictures mini mini renders they look quite cool quite nice printings back of the box so that's the celebration train okay and the last set for disney coming on april 1st is the up house 598 pieces it looks cool i like it and 49.99 that's much better value than star lord that we just mentioned now let's take a really close look at this because i probably will do get this at some point and do a review on it obviously we've got all the main characters we've got a squirrel squirrel so this house looks wicked possibly could do with more balloons but if you want to do that add it yourself that's not hard to do I mean, obviously, it would be nice to get it in the first place, but, you know, <laughs> there's only so much they can add in within a piece count. I quite like the little tile pieces here. I've seen those on a few more LEGO houses recently, but since that Lord of the Rings set, which has got, got billions of them, good luck aligning those. But yeah, it looks awesome. His backpack looks wicked. It actually looks like the film where he was totally overloaded. I love the walking stick. That looks cool with the sort of roller skate mouse droid on the end. Um... There we go. Nice box art as well. So if you're a fan of Up, or just a fan of Disney Pixar in general, this is definitely a cool set. The house, very basic inside. I mean, come on, who's this set aimed for? It's a mix. It's definitely a mix of adults and kids. There's probably not so many play features in here, really. Plus, people are going to be, they know, look, this bar here. <laughs> they know that people are going to be lifting this thing up and flying it around. So it looks quite cool inside. There's not much to it. I like the little clock there, though, actually. That would be quite nice to pull apart and put in some other mocks. And the tiny bonsai tree or whatever that's supposed to be. TV, the old school TV, that looks wicked. And a chair. Yep, and a gramophone. Some nice, I'm assuming these are stickers, some nice pictures. Obviously, if you watch the start scene of Up and Don't Burst Into Tears. And that's quite funny. I mean, look at that detail. Lots of good printing now. He's got all his different badges. If I remember rightly from the film, he's after one last badge to go up to the next level. 
quite a cool hairpiece. So what do you think of this one? I personally, I quite like it. I'd quite like to see some of the techniques used as you look closely at the way the direction the bricks are going. Um, I would like to build it in stop motion and have it fly away in stop motion. But let me know. Do you like this set? Tell me in the comments below. Looking and thinking, I'm tempted by that, I'm tempted by this, but I think the up house could be quite good fun just to build it and then have it rising up in stop motion. Maybe tie some real balloons. <laughs> we'll see. Is there a demand for it? Do you want to see that built in stop motion? Do you want to see anything out of the stop motion with it? Let me know in the comments below. Finally, the sets I'm really looking forward to this month. Indiana Jones, new film coming out, and there's three sets from the original series. So these look wicked. The plane chase, I am so tempted to get. I mean, look at it. It looks wicked. Let's just have a quick dive into all three of these. Indiana Jones. This is some sets that I personally am excited for. And I'm probably going to end up getting these free gifts. So let's go straight in with the plane chase. 387 pieces, 29.99. That is good value when you compare it to the other sets we've just been looking at. Let's take a look at some of these pictures. This set for me is definitely bringing back memories of watching the film and I've watched the film multiple, multiple times. So first off, I love the sign. It's a shame they haven't got the, I can't remember where it was in the film, it was going kind of Berlin or somewhere else because obviously they had to choose which direction they were going. Box art that's really cool. Again, reminiscent to the film. That's awesome. If you notice, the wings are off the plane. He's going along the ground. They did that in the film. It looks wicked. The windscreen is random. I love the little suitcase there as well. Obviously, Henry Jones had that. Yeah, the plane. There you go. It's showing you the wings come off easily. So you can reenact the story. Many figures. Indiana Jones, Henry Jones, and a pilot. Indiana Jones looks quite cool, love his little tie detail, and Henry Jones' his bow tie detail. Both really cool, really capture the figures, I think. Now, one thing I would say about this, it's quite interesting, and I'm surprised this set has not been cancelled yet. Um, obviously, this is a soldier in a soldier's uniform, essentially, and that is a warplane. That is something Lego never do. I know Star Wars, blah, 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 medieval... But we never see a mo relatively modern, we know we're talking 80 years ago now, but we never see modern, almost historically accurate war planes. I mean, I don't know how accurate that plane is, but obviously they've probably tried to keep it away too much from being an accurate representation of a war plane. So it's quite interesting to see LEGO actually do that. But I personally, I think I'm going to pick this set up when it releases, and I'll be building this for the channel. So keep your eyes open for that one. Now next... Now, this set is only £5 more, and it comes with four minifigures, which is cool, and 600 pieces. Again, that's good value when you compare the 600 pieces you're paying 69 for for Star-Lord's helmet versus the 34 99 that you're going to be paying here. And look at all those, I'm assuming they're either stickers or printed. But even so, if you want to do any form of mocks, they are definitely stickers, look at that. That's a shame, because some of the adventure sets I've got in the past have printed bricks with that sort of thing on. But if you want to do anything sort of ancient, ancient Egypt, etc., this would be a really cool set to do if you're making mocks. And you get lots of little flame pieces and lots of colourful snakes, because we all hate snakes. Nice box art. Obviously, four minifigures. You can see those there. Quite a cool little play feature of the wall knocking through when you climb up on the statue. Obviously, that's what happens in the film. And then I think the mummy is set behind that, which is quite a cool little feature as well and look at that the snakes coming through the wall that's awesome i didn't spot that before if you wanted to recreate scenes from the film that would be really cool oh yeah and look they drop out lots lots of cool plate features here it's a nice set it's a good amount of minifigures you get the ark of the covenant there's a lot going on in this set and i think this is a really good set to get probably won't get this one straight away but i might get it later on so look out for that on the channel now, the big one, the Temple of the Golden Idol. Obviously, this is the opening scene to the original Indiana Jones. And this set does look wicked. 1,545 pieces. This will have you busy for a couple of hours. Or if you're me doing it in stop motion, probably a good seven hours. Now, £130, £129.99. It's a lot, but it's cool. Only four minifigures. It is obviously an adult display piece, but 
it has play features. <laughs> so, box art, that looks cool. You've got batteries included. <laughs> and it looks, it does look cool. Um, I like how they've actually not included the skeleton as a minifigure. So, there we go. As you can see from here, there's plenty going on. There's plenty of things like you can see the wall falling away there. You've got all the little um, skull heads at the bottom to turn, which do different things. So that is really, really cool. And there's a light up brick in there. I don't like this render because that golden idol, you can't really tell what it looks like. That looks very, it's so computer gamey here. It's not quite good enough. It does look like you've got a lot of stickers in there. And you can see the Lego head sticking his tongue out on the far right, which looks quite interesting. Um, I'd love to know. I haven't seen it yet, but it'd be really cool if they've put an R2-D2 and a C-3PO in there somewhere like you had in, I think it was on the Ask the Covenant. Obviously, you can do the boulder chase scene. Indiana Jones has two faces, so you can, as you can see there, he's got cobwebs on him. Um, quite savagely, you can get spiked just there. But yeah, minifigures look cool, and they're all the alternate face on Indiana Jones looks wicked. The rope swing. The only thing... I would say I'm slightly disappointed about potentially is how short the boulder chase is but I guess it's it's a display set you can't fit it in it's not obviously that's a lot further longer in the film but will I be buying this one possibly I do like Indiana Jones if the film come upcoming film knocks my socks off I probably will end up getting this so keep your eyes open it's a cool little set and definitely I think worth the money if you're really into indiana jones so there we go which indiana jones sets do you think i should pick up because <laughs> i'm tempted by all three i'm not sure i can stretch all those plus an up house plus potentially a marvel one plus whatever else i decide to pick up in along the way let me know anything you want to see built on the channel comments below tell me tell me tell me i want to know what you want to be built i've also got some sets here waiting to be built it's too much stop motion takes a long time to do <laughs> Take how long a set normally takes and times it by 10. And that brings us nicely on to what's coming in April. First off, massive shout out to my friend Richard, who has lent me Slave 1, Django Fett Slave 1, and a massive bag of minifigures. They will be getting spun on my little spinner and built in stop motion and on the shorts feed very soon. I'm planning to release two or three a day. Look out for those, all Star Wars based, and there's some wicked figures in there. Also, minifigure mashup. If you like those, I've done five of those so far. There's a few more coming in season one. Just haven't quite got to finishing off filming them and finding some of the figures I need. <laughs> That's coming back soon. The castle I've been building, I'm going to continue live streaming that. I don't expect to have that video ready this month, but we're probably looking at May for that. I'm also picking up some random figures and army stuff to make some stop motion medieval castle style stop motion which is coming soon and in the meantime I'm going to be doing some videos of the little minifigures I'm creating so army building videos for you to give you some ideas if you want to make some custom lego figures yourself let me know is there any particular sets you want to see built I've got several I'm going to be putting out some votes so if there's a high demand for one of them I'll build that one first potentially as well sonic if i get around to that there's some new stop motion coming for that but i suspect that'll be later in the year now and massive thank you to the best comment of the week which was this one i'm going to plan on doing some of these update videos a bit more often moving forward so please look out for them and we'll be looking at future lego sets and what's coming on the channel and anything interesting about lego last thing interesting fact about lego they are the largest tire producer in the world not dunlop not michelin lego with that, see you next time, like and subscribe.